everybody, David Starr here for On Guitars. This guitar, today, they were saying uh, hello and visiting with, is a 1935 Gibson Roy Smeck Stage Deluxe. Uh, Roy Smeck was a big, a big guitar um, hero in the 30s, played Hawaiian guitar, and most of these guitars uh, you will find today have had the neck modified or replaced in some cases uh, to play like a regular acoustic guitar, um, like a round neck guitar, but they were all uh, square neck Hawaiian style guitars that you would have played in your lap with a steel bar. Uh, very much like the lap steel craze, this craze uh, kind of came and went and a lot of people started modifying these guitars. So I happen to own one that has had that done to it and they did a really good job. Uh, I played a couple which are great. A um, couple of things to know about these guitars. Pretty wide neck, you know. Uh, you got to really want to grip that thing because they were originally a, a, a pretty good size neck. This one, I don't know if you could see it uh, from your vantage point. This one has the original bridge because you can see where uh, the original saddle was pulled out, the saddle slot filled, and then a regular slant or angled saddle was put in to compensate for uh, intonation. Um, I've seen a couple where it had a brand new bridge and that's fine. Uh, I just like the fact that this this is one that came with it. These bridge pins may actually be the originals. Don't know that, no way to know that. But man, they are old and they sure have that look and feel of uh, some very old bridge pins. So who knows? Um, Constructed very much like a J45 or a uh, you know advanced jumbo or whatever, mahogany body, uh, solid mahogany with a with a spruce top, nice sunburst finish on it, um, tortoise guard, but they're they're a deeper guitar than a J45 or a typical um, typical uh, Gibson flat top. So a little different in that respect. Um, that accounts somewhat for the big for the big tone. The fact that it's a 12 fret guitar, everything shifted a little bit. All of those things sort of conspire and come together to make it a really big sounding guitar. Um, often referred to as the grand piano of guitars, and that's that's not an exaggeration when you play it next to some of these other guitars. It's significantly louder, and uh, really a great sounding guitar. Um, this is. This, this Roy Smeck, the Roy Smeck guitars are a big favorite of Jackson Brown's. If you've ever been to see Jackson Brown in concert to do his, his live acoustic thing, he carries a lot of guitars, which is cool in itself. But uh, big fan of these. And when they designed a Jackson Brown signature model a few years back, this is more or less what they use as a template for that. Uh, just a great big booming... <laughs> is a little high on this one but I'm hesitant to mess with it too much it plays okay um, it certainly doesn't need a neck reset because the neck has been completely redone anyway so anyway great guitars uh, if you can find one you want to spend some time with it before you buy it because some of them the work that was done on them was done really really well like this one and some of them not so much uh, I've seen a few with with uh, see a couple of these online with replacement necks that were like Martin slotted headstock necks. Probably fine, probably sound good. Um, I uh, The more original the better in my mind. So uh, this one, this one's been with me a couple of years, not all that long, but I've gotten really fond of it and uh, really, really performs well in an open tuning or in dad gad, something like that. Uh, anything where you drop that that low E string down a little bit just really, really cranks. So uh, it's it's fast becoming a favorite and uh, lives up here among the Gibsons and the Martins and the other stuff. Um, got a lot of more uh, cool guitars coming up 
in future episodes. We've got some great stuff from Larave, uh, more stuff from, uh, got, the, got a callings coming up. Got a lot of good stuff coming up. I'd like for you to uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you hear. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and let your friends know to subscribe. Uh, it helps us uh, keep this all going. So thanks so much for tuning in. Again, the Roy Smack Stage Deluxe. <laughs>